Have you ever been in a place from which hope is gone? Welcome once again, my fellow manipulators of digital fate. I'm Richie, this is Capricorn. Today's video is not so much a deck tech, it's more uh, my way of trying to show you guys a glitch I found within MTG Arena, within the code of the program, that allows you to do some busted stuff that you should not be able to do within the confines of the rules of the game of Magic the Gathering. Uh, so it's kind of crazy. It involves the card Conspiracy Unraveler, and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna show you guys the game in which I figured this out first. Uh, we're gonna show you how I figured it out, what my reaction was, and trying to piece together what was going on. And then afterwards, we're gonna break down exactly what this combo is, how it works, um, and let you guys know how to replicate it. Uh, also. I want to just get this out there that I've got a bunch more deck techs coming. So even though this isn't technically a deck tech, this is utilizing my Assassin's Tribal deck. Uh, I played it on Community uh, community Night with all of you guys. Um, and this happened in a game against you guys on Community Night. Um, but I do have a bunch of deck techs lined up. We're going to drop one every single day this week, I'm pretty sure. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But I wanted to get this combo out there, get you guys to see the ways in which we can kind of break the MTG Arena code. Um, I assume they're going to patch this out, but if it doesn't, it can be abused in some pretty crazy ways. Like I said, it involves the card Conspiracy Unraveler. We'll break the whole thing down and how it works at the end. But for now, like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, like or I'll cry if you're not new. And uh, catch me live over on Twitch Monday through Friday. That's twitch.tv slash quarantine Capricorn. Because if I'm alive and I'm breathing, I'm there and I'm streaming. Let's take a look at this insanity. Uh, I will keep this. For now at least. Alright, Eternalize. AKA Null16. We're gonna slam a heart stabber to start. Collector's vault, sure. I think we do this. Another dismal backwater. Collector's vault. Can the Trotta come out and play? Give me all your stuff. Uh, I used to do it, the, the first time I ever did 24 hours of magic was the Dark Steel pre-release. We got a breach. Because back when Dark Steel came out, back in that era, pre-releases were different. They were regional. They weren't at your typical local LGSs. Wait, you didn't hit anything? Wow, what? That's nuts. Why do these cost zero? I am so confused right now. I am so confused. What? 
Oh, that's a bug. Uh, what? How? 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 We found a glitch. I'm gonna skip my turn. Uh, I'm gonna skip a turn eternalize because I that's I should that's not fair and I'm not gonna use that ability anymore for the rest of the game that's just kind of bullshit uh, I'm glad I found it now maybe we can make a deck tech that does that yeah it's conspiracy unraveler its ability it's letting me spend collect evidence 10 to pay the mana cost for spells I cast, even though it's face down and not face up. So it's definitely a glitch in the programming. But, don't tell anybody. I want to make a deck tech where I show it happen and put it up on the channel. This is crazy. And then we can tell everybody. Actually, you know what? I'll just put this game up on the channel and show everybody. That's that's kind of bananas. It's just it's just letting me. It's just letting me. Is it maybe because there's two of them out? Oh come on, Ural. It's just it's just letting me. It's just letting me. It's wild. Alright, so what the hell just happened? Let's break it down. So, first of all, Conspiracy Unraveler. Seven drops Sphinx Detective 6-6 flying. As long as it's in play, you may collect Evidence 10 rather than pay the mana cost for spells that you cast. So, when this is on the field and it's turned face up, you're allowed to free cast spells from your hand, doesn't matter what the mana cost is, just by removing a 10 mana value worth of spells from your graveyard and exiling them. Uh, what we saw happen was this card was cloaked face down on the field and we were still able to use the ability as if it wasn't cloaked, as if it was turned face up. Now at this point we're not sure if maybe that triggered because there were two copies cloaked. Maybe there's something in the programming that allows it that, uh, that, that tells like the first copy not to work. Um, but for some reason there being a second copy cloaked allowing the same ability, maybe it gets through that. Um, we're going to do another game to test out if it if it will still work with just one uh, cloaked face down. Um, but as of right now, this thing being cloaked on the field under anything is allowing you to free cast stuff from your hand, from, from your hand which is, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we did this with Atrada, Deadly Fugitive. That's the other thing we weren't entirely sure about is the fact that maybe it's an Atrada thing. Maybe something to do with this, the weird way it's worded with the, the four mana ability to turn a creature face up. Um, so, you know, it references the mana cost. Um, maybe some way in which Atrada itself is combining with... Uh, the Conspiracy Unraveler is what's causing this to break. So that's another thing we need to test. We need to figure out if it's just cloaking in general or if it's it's because of Atrada's, you know, extra ability. Um, maybe that's why it happened. So we're not sure if just cloaking it in general with something like Cryptic Coat will work, um, but it definitely needs to be tested. So we're going to go into a second game real quick. I'm going to show you guys... Uh, how we narrow down exactly what's making this happen, and then we'll wrap up at the end of the video. 
probably just an oversight. I'm gonna mulligan until I get a Trotta. There we go. Alright. Hello, boys. Don't, don't do that shit too soon. I need to have an Atrata out to hit it first. Here we go. We got a Gadwick's first duel. Why are you leaving stuff like that on top? How dare you freeze in place, my guy? Why did you freeze in place my whip cracker? in place good lord I don't BL cock I won't BL cock yo where are these cards at What is going on? Still nothing. This will be six hits. There's one. There's two. And my zero is turned on.
Wait, attack with what? What do you want me to attack with? Oh, you want me to attack with one that's flipped? Yeah, so we'll swing with just one conspiracy unraveler. And we'll see if that does the job. No, we can still do it. It's still there. That's crazy, so it's not it's not if you have two. There's just one there. And it works. The only problem is I need stuff in my graveyard in order to actually test it and make it happen. So, kill my Vraska. Swing the one starving revenant at Vraska with the one one. Actually, you can just swing them both at Vraska, it doesn't matter. And that's what, six? Uh, I didn't, didn't know his head was bleeding. There. Got some cards. I got stuff in the yard. I've got one conspiracy unraveler out. It looks like it's still working. My turn. Let's see if we can do it. Virtue of persistence. Zero. Yep. There we go. It works. Pyrotechnic performer. Zero. That's crazy. I don't know. The only other thing left to test is... Is it Atrata only? Right? Is it an Atrata thing? Or is it a cloak thing? Craziness. So, as you guys saw there, it does work with just one copy of Conspiracy Unraveler cloaked face down. It doesn't require the two copies. We were able to free cast anything from our hand as though the Conspiracy Unraveler was face up. So I think any any way at all that we can cloak that thing is going to allow us to break this. Uh, after these games, we did do a little bit of testing. We tested Cryptic Coat. It works with Cryptic Coat. So it is just the normal cloak thing. It's not because of Atrada's extra ability. 
okay? It's just any time you get any conspiracy unravel, or even just one, cloaked on the board, you're able to access its ability as if it wasn't cloaked. And there's sure to be some insane ways we can break this. If you've got ideas of how to brew around this glitch within Arena and make a deck that's truly busted, put them in the comments below. But I do have a feeling they're going to patch this out pretty soon. I'm almost positive this card is not meant to function this way. Uh, we looked up the rulings text and the way Disguise and Cloak works is if it is a face down creature, it is as though its text box doesn't exist at all. So I'm pretty confident this is a glitch and it's not meant to work this way. There is that you know, 0.1% chance that some weird ruling, maybe it's meant to work this way and they don't patch it out, but I highly doubt it. Uh, but let me know in the comments below your ideas of, of how to abuse this or, or whether you think this is actually a legal thing or not, or if it's a glitch, I'm pretty sure it's a glitch, but with all that out of the way, make sure you like and subscribe, do the thing, help the channel grow. Bunch of deck techs are on the way. Look for the first one tomorrow and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, always make them scoop. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons over at Patreon. Without you guys, this channel would not be possible. So honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your contributions. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe. The more likes we get and the quicker we get them, the bigger this channel will grow and the faster it will grow. I'd love nothing more than this channel to become something very special for you guys, but it's entirely up to you how fast that happens. Also, if you'd like more deck text, that's somewhere over there and if you'd like to see what else the channel's been up to lately that's somewhere up that way also subscribe circle below do all the things